Hi, I'm Sunhan from alphastrobies.com. Here I have a picture that was taken with the Alpha 900. And the lighting used in this shot was achieved by using a couple of Alpha wireless flashes. Today, I'm going to show you how this picture was taken. So, all together, three flashes were used. The HVL F42 AM, the HVL F56 AM, and finally, the HVL F58 AM, which is going to be used as a controller mounted on our camera. For this shot, we're going to use the Alpha 900 and the 70 to 200 millimeter lens. Now, I'm going to show you how to set up the flash for wireless. Turn on the camera, go to the user menu, and for the Alpha user interface, it looks kind of similar for all the range of cameras, the Alpha 100, Alpha 200, Alpha 300 and Alpha 350, so as the Alpha 700 and the Alpha 900. So we move to the second item and we look at the first feature, the flash mode and make sure the flash mode has wireless selected. If that's done, press OK and we can exit the menu. Next, we're going to set the flashes up for wireless flash. So what you do, you just need to mount the flashes individually to the camera and turn on the flash which will then set the flash automatically into the wireless mode. As you can see here, the first flash that we have, the F42AM is now in wireless mode. Next, we're going to insert the 56AM. We turn the flash on and it will be set to wireless mode automatically. And finally, we'll insert the 58AM. We turn it on and we have wireless mode ready. Before we go further, there are a couple of things that I would like to highlight with regards to the wireless controller. The 58AM allows you to control two different types of flashes, the older flashes and the newer flashes. The older flashes are for example the 56AM. Since we have a 56AM in our shooting setup today, we're going to have to use the mode which supports it. On the 58AM, once the flash is turned on, in the wireless mode, you can press the function button until you see a controller symbol blinking. And once you see the controller signal blinking, once you reach that menu, you keep on pressing for a few seconds and it will come up to this page which has a C01 notation at the top. While pressing the arrow button on the right, you can scroll through and you'll see eight different sub modes. What we are interested in is item number three, C03. In this case, it shows CTRL2. CTRL2 is actually the control mode which controls the 56EM flashes too. And if you move the up and down button respectively, you can see that it toggles from CTRL1 or CTRL2. So for CTRL1, the notation given at the top is the CTRL plus, which controls the newer 42 AM flashes and the 58 AM flashes in wireless. In our case, we're going to use the 56 AM and the 42 AM. So we need to use controller 2. So make sure C03 is at controller 2 settings. Once that's done, we just exit this menu by pressing the function button. And what you'll see here are two numbers, the CTRL and the RMT. The two numbers are two ratios of which 
by default is at 1 is to 1 it, which means the controller the 58 am will fire a full flash and similarly whichever remotes in this case the 56 and the 42 am at full flash as you can see we have the two flashes ready to be used we're going to place one light on the right and one light on the left i'm going to put the 42 am on the right side of the subject With the help of some light stands, I could place the light at different positions. Similarly, on the left side, I have a light stand to fix the 56AM in place. Based on the two positions of the lights, now I can start to check the lighting. As you can see here, the two flashes are already mounted on one of the light stands on the right and one of the light stands on the left. Since both has been turned on, I'm going to test the wireless flash to see if it's working. So you can see both flash on the left and the right fires when I fire the flash on the camera by pressing the AEL button. All right. Now we're ready to shoot and we'll see how we can get great pictures using the wireless flash as we go on. Now for the shoot, we're going to turn off the background light. It's rather dark here. Just try to squint your eyes to see what's happening. Okay? Now that all the lights are ready and we're ready to go, and I'm going to shoot at about 100 millimeter range to get a tight crop of the subject. Alright, as you can see here. Here's an example of the shot taken with the setup that I've shown you throughout the video. Hopefully, you're able to try this out on your own cameras and get nice pictures with the Alpha Wireless Flash. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.